Okay, so what is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to undervolt your Intel CPU. So in this video I'm going to be using a software and we are not going to use the BIOS. So undervolting is basically just running less electricity on your CPU to make it run cooler and even faster on some occasions. So we are going to be using the software, so I will leave the links in the description. So just download the, this Intel XTU software. Just wait for it to download and just install. It's just a basic install. I already have it installed. I will not show you this. So just install the software right here. Okay. And then after that, go to another link in the description and download this HV Info uh, software. So just uh, click on the portable version, go to this link or whichever one you want and just uh, wait the five seconds and uh, it will show you your install button so just yeah so it's now installing hardware info so in the meantime i will show you intel extreme tuning so utility so just uh, uh, double click on it okay it will start up or or it may not start up okay so there are a few things that you can do to uh, be able to run this software if you are not able to so the first one is to go to the BIOS and enable overclocking. So I will show you that right now, but it's uh, depending on your motherboard and your CPU. And the another thing is to uh, go to turn Windows features on and off and then disable this uh, virtual machine platform. So just to disable this, you can then click on OK. It will ask you to restart your PC. So just restart it and come back. Okay. so. Now in this uh, Intel software, uh, you will see that uh, it will show you your uh, things and then uh, just extract the hardware info uh, software. So I will just extract the 64-bit version. Okay, and then double click on it. And then uh, select the uh, sensors only and then click on start. Okay, so it started it. Okay, so click on close. It was on a different monitor, so. Okay, right now in this uh, hardware info, you will see uh, your core voltage. So uh, you need to keep an eye on this while we do this uh, undervolting. Mm -hmm. And it will show you your voltage, so yeah. Okay, and now in the Intel software, uh, we will uh, uh, show you this so just uh, click on run benchmark for the first time uh, to show your baseline number so as you will see your cpu will heat up and it will uh, be utilized at 100 percent. so just wait a little bit my cpu is getting lower score right now because i'm also recording this video so yeah yours should be higher if you're using the exact same processor as i am Okay, and as you can see, I got 6,418 marks. Okay, so after this, I go to the core voltage offset, and then uh, you will get this pop-up, uh, disclaimer, yeah, yeah, everything, and just click on agree. And then in this offset, I go to 0 0.05 volts. Minus 0 0.05 volts. Okay, and then click on apply. And after you clicked apply, you will see your call vo voltage will drop a little bit. Okay, then then run the benchmark once again. And uh, yeah, so just wait for it, wait for it to finish. Uh, keep an eye on the voltages. As you can see, they should be a little bit lower than before. I will leave the, the link to the description. You can read more about undervolting, what it does and whatnot. Okay, so after the benchmark has finished, as you can see, we got even more points by using less electricity. So this is really good for saving battery life as well. So we got 6,536 marks. That's great. Okay, so after that, you can go by 10 more points or, or 20 more points, but I will go 10 in this demonstration. So just go by 10, 10 more points. So we go by minus 0 0.06 volts and then click on apply and then run the benchmark once more. So 
yeah, this is a really easy way to just get some uh, lower temperatures and sometimes even higher performance. As you can see with this benchmark, we got higher score, so it's free. You don't have to do anything about it. And I think it's a great way. I made another video on how to do it on the Ryzen processor. So yeah. And then we got 6530 marks. So we got about the same as last time, but uh, the temperature should be dropping lower while we're gaming and stuff like that. So next step would be to go 10 more, but I will not show it in this video. So you will stop after your PC crashes. It, it's nothing bad after your PC crashes, just uh, restart back up and go to the last voltage that was safe. So for example, uh, 0 0.6, yeah. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe.